Hello, everyone. I think we are live now. Tamara, can you see us? No. Uh-oh. Not yet. Oh, it says, hang on, we're telling more followers to join your video. <laughs> oh. So I guess we have to give it a, a few seconds. Can you see it now? Uh-huh. Oh, so good. Yay. Hello, everyone. We are back for May with our 1970s to 1980s horror movies. We have quite a few offerings. Um, we have been open since the 18th, and you have until the 30th of this month to purchase. We have quite a few things. Um, I believe there's 16, so I am going to get started and we will go from there. Okay. Um, we can start off with Sassy Pants. She has this awesome cuticle balm this month. This is the one from last month, but she did have a few left over that she brought back to the store but her one for this month is Friday the 13th it's inspired by Friday the 13th part 2 movie and her scents are vanilla oh I, I guess it's just earthiness of amber sandalwood and vanilla so she will have two of those. And before I ever start any kind of swatches, I always make sure that I throw some on there. If you notice, it does not leave you that greasy, which is nice. It's kind of like a mat. Would you call that a mat, Tamara? I guess. Um, yeah, that yeah, because, I mean, it's not, like, super greasy looking. I that ring. <laughs> oh, that guy? That blue one on your finger. This one, right? Yeah. I'll send you the link. Okay. It's really cute. I like it because it's adjustable. Um, You have to bear with me. These things always make me nervous. So... This little guy is $8. And great. I believe she has, oh, there is no cap on her cuticle balms. So that is that. Also, we are going to pop in with Tamara's wonderful hand cream. This stuff is amazing. But we have to get all gooped up before we start drying our skin out with removers. And what I say, we have 16 polishes to get through. So I'm going to be polishing and then removing. Oh, goodness. Well, you know that Sorry. it's wonderfully sealed. So it most definitely will not <laughs> leak in your package. But you only need like a real tiny bit. The stuff is just amazing. And this smell is watermelon, sugar, and ice. What does ice smell like? Is that like an actual yeah. scent? No. Okay. <laughs> it's like, do they actually have a, an oil that says ice? <laughs> And I don't know if anyone can name this movie, but this is from one of my favorite movies with Stephen King, and that is Creepshow. And I love that you picked him for this. That is just amazing. I mean, look at that face. Oh, I knew it creeped me out when I was younger. Oh, yeah, me too. 
but there is no cap. Sorry, I, I tend to get off base here. I'm a little flighty, but there is no cap. Is there a cap on the lotions? Oh. Um, I think I put 30, but... 30? Let me see. I would have been better prepared. My printer went down, so I have to uh, pull this stuff up as I talk to you guys. Let me see. Talks to Montreal. See, it would be really nice if I can have like music in the background, but isn't that like a big no-no? No. Oh, really? Okay, so yes, she is correct. There is a 30 cap, and the cost on this guy is $10, and there are still some left. You will not be disappointed. This stuff is amazing, and a little bit goes a long ways for sure. Okay, um, polish. So we are going to start. Last time I did alphabetical order, but we're just going to kind of wing it. So... The first two that I have are Ember Lacquer. She has amazing polishes. Let me put these two here and pull up her info. She did two offerings this month. Uh, the first one is Carol Ann which is amazing, this one right here. Now I gotta watch the movie. It's been, okay. you know what, that movie really freaked me out. And I think the only reason why it freaked me out is knowing, like, people died making that movie. <laughs> yeah. That makes it extra creepy. So this is Carol Ann, price $11.00. And she has a cap of a hundred. That is a gorgeous polish. So we're gonna do one swatch, let it dry. I'll do it over black and then we'll come back. She has the long skinny brush. Also, because we have so many and I only have 10 fingers, you will see the removal, especially with the glitters, so you'll know how hard they are to remove, which honestly, all the ones that I have, they're really easy. I have not had a struggle at all removing any glitters. So here it is over black, because we all love it over black. Wow. That is really pretty. Good job, Ember. I love that. Awesome. I'm going to do a second coat. So that is Carol Ann. Hey, look at that big old flaky on the side. Woohoo. That is super pretty. You're right, Cindy. Awesome. She did a great job. I love that. It's like a multi chrome shift. Look at all the flakies in there. It's crazy. So there we go, Ember. Cap of a hundred, she still has some left. Eleven dollars. Put that guy over there. Her next one is the Overlook Hotel. This one is super pretty, also. I don't know if the light is really showing. Hold on. Because this one's kind of like a peachy, but then it puts off like a pretty pink 
goldish tone, but I'm not catching it with the light in here. Let me see. Sometimes the black will help. Nope, that's the same. Well, it's a little lighter, huh? That's pretty. Yeah, it's super pretty. So this one is the same. Cap of 100. I bet you this one would look super pretty over black. That is pretty. I think that one's super pretty. So here we go over black. Oh yeah. So the black really pulls out that pink shift to it. Which is super pretty. Oh yeah. For sure. Okay. I just wonder if what I'm seeing is like what you are seeing. If it's doing it any justice. Yeah, you can see the shift. Can you? Okay. Let me go in for a second coat. I think that is just the perfect summertime color. That's super pretty. Absolutely. So, Ember, knocking it out of the park again. Overlook Hotel and Carol Ann. Awesome sauce there. Okay. Okay, next on our list, we are going with BCB, which this one is completely beautiful. She took her inspiration from the Stepford Wives, which completely freaked me out growing up. I don't know if it did anybody else, but I know that one was a little... I think it's like the perfect movie for, like, guys, you know? <laughs> but for us women, it's like, what? <laughs> Yeah. That was creepy. That was super creepy. Like, is this even possible? Can this really, really happen? So we have BCB Lacquers. And it is Watch Dirty Movies and Reminisce About the Good Old Days. It is a gorgeous color. Do you call that a periwinkle? Kind of looks uh, like a yeah. periwinkle. Yeah. But her description is a lilac curly with gray and mint hex glitters, hollow flakes, pink, orange, and gold flakes. And she has a cap of a hundred. And these are also thirteen fifty for this. Okay. We have one coat. There's a lot of flaky bombs this month. I'm loving it. They are so I pretty. I ordered that. <laughs> it's a gorgeous color. And then we have it over black. Oh, those flakies are so pretty. And I don't think you can ever go wrong when it comes to flakies myself, but. I agree. 
They're always so pretty. So there is BCB Lacquer. That gorgeous lilac polish. I love her label. Watch dirty movies and reminisce about the good old days. It actually sounds like a fun thing to do. Absolutely. <laughs> a big old section of flakies right there. That's awesome. Thank you, Brittany. That's beautiful polish. Okay, next up. We have Night Owl Lacquer. Another gorgeous polish. Oh. Comet Zombies. Now, can anyone guess, while I'm looking this up, where this comes from? What movie was her inspiration? Is it kind of Yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Did did anyone else guess or are people just is anyone interacting cuz I can't I can't see it for no, some reason. Either. I don't see. I caught no. Cindy's comment, but then it all disappeared. I don't see anything. You don't see anything either? Mm -hmm. No, this is uh, what would you call that like a magenta? I heard or, just uh, raisin. Ooh, yeah. Because her description is a dark purple filled with red metallic microflakes. I just think that's that's just gorgeous. So there is no cap on this one. I don't know if you've looked at the pictures online, but they are amazing. Twelve dollars. And yes, I am so glad. I think uh, Lindsay and also you, Tamara, right? You, I think you guys were the only two that did Night of the Comet, right? I think so. I think so. All right, so we got the big thumb for this one. Try to be so careful so I don't like slop it on there. Okay. That's gorgeous. That is, isn't it? It's amazing. I love the little sparkles. Oh, and I wish there was a way to like do this outside because when the sunlight hits a lot of these, oh, it, it it's just amazing. It is, they are so pretty. Yeah, see, I think the black really brings out the color. You put it over black, it's, I mean, it's easy, a one-coater. That's wow. all you need. Oh, don't. It's tripping again. There we go. Over black, it looks so different. It does. It really does. Oh, see, every time. There we go. All right, this wow. is Comet Zombies. Night Owl Lacquer. She did a great job with this one. That is gorgeous. And it, the inspiration picture and then this, I mean, it, it fits perfect. And that is definitely one of the, I, I think I'm going to look that up this weekend. I'm going to watch it. It's been a while. I think it's on Hulu. Is it on Hulu? I think so. Or Prime. Yeah. 
I remember it being so cheesy, but it's totally worth the cheese to watch it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So our next offering, let's see. We have Naps and Nails. She has two this month, which are gorgeous. God, I mean, they're, they're all gorgeous. I cannot say enough. You guys are just wizards when it comes to this polish stuff because it's just, it blows me away what you guys come up with. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. All right, so we go with the first one. And this is called Drink This. Ooh. There we go. Well, kind of. I don't know. Mm. My phone does not like that label. <laughs> this is a red, purple, black multi-chrome with silver reflective glitters. And because I can't throw them a flash on, you can kind of see the reflective glitters through here. Yeah, it's just tripping out. Here we go. The reflective glitters. Yeah. And this one's so pretty, too. Okay. Ooh, that is really pretty. I have to figure out a way to be able to show off that reflective on the camera. I don't know if I've figured that out yet. I mean, I can do it without being live. I got little fuzzies. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. You can probably really pop with that second coat. So let's try it over black. Yeah, this one out in the sunlight is it's really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a black blue kinda. I I don't I don't know how to describe it. Vampy. Yeah, vampy for sure. It, it's the glitter for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can do something with the light source to make it pop a little better. Like a lot of the vampy colors, uh, they just shine in the sunlight. They look awesome. There we go. Can you see it now? Oh. Yeah, you can. It's wanting to flip out again. So at one angle, you get that dark, deep blue, but then at another angle, you can see the purple. There's like yeah. a purple to it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this is one of the, you know, well, you know I love blue. This is absolutely one of my favorites for a blue. So this one, she does not have a cap on these. Oh, look at that. You see that? See what I mean? How you can catch different colors in the bottle. That purple right there. Okay, so no cap. No cap on this. Still plenty available. 13. And this is Drink This. And the next one is her Jaws inspired. I'm back. It's another really pretty blue. I mean, the shimmer in this is just, God, it's amazing. Oh, a little dirty there. Sorry. So this is I Am Back. What movie is that from? I Am Back is from Jaws. Oh, and it's from Jaws. 
I am so sorry. Let's go back to Drink This. And this one is inspired by the Lost Boys. So Lost Boys and this one's Jaws. Super pretty. This is a purple base, blue green shimmer. And this one is also 13 and there's no cap. And now you can make fun of me because I have to switch over to my non-dominant hand. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a lefty, so this is going to be a, a trick. Let's see. Oops. Not too bad. Catch the shimmer. It's a really pretty blue shimmer in there. It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Do it over black. Okay, see, now I see Tammy's comment. Yes, that one is a really nice one. I love it too. Ooh, look at that one over the black. It's like a whole different polish. That is super pretty. Wow. Makes me want to stock up on the black polish. You just wear everything over black. You know, I, I don't think a lot of people realize that, you know, some of these will change over black. I know I didn't when I first started, you know, indie polish. I had no idea. So there's two coats. Super pretty. This is one of those polishes that you look at the bottle. <laughs> and it looks different than when it's actually on your finger. It does, well. But still super pretty. Good job, Nina. I am back. Naps and nails. Okay. Next we have... Let's do Dark and Twisted. She has three. One is actually a reanimation that she brought back, which is Give Yourself Goosebumps. This was a huge favorite when it came out. All those glitters in there. So. Yeah, that's cool looking. Yeah, this one was a fun one. I remember the first time I believe she sold out of this one when it when it came through. Um, I think she sold out all the time. Yeah, it, it a a lot of the makers do sell out, which is amazing, and I am so happy that they do. It, it just shows how much you know they are loved. That's why it, we have such a good supportive group, too. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to pull up Dark and Twisted. So we have... Oh, well, if you want any of these guys, you need to hop on it because there are only five left in stock. Or give yourself goosebumps. So we'll just watch this one. Oops, sorry about that. I thought those were off. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Did it come through? Oh, goodness. Okay, see, this is why I have such a hard time. You're fine. 
that's not too bad of a mess. Oh, that's okay. I'm not a pro, but okay. So there's one coat. I like that, you know, you don't have to fish for the glitters, yeah. which is super nice. Ugh, here, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> can you still hear me? Yep. Okay. I can't you. Okay. I did not shut off my notifications, so I do apologize for everyone who heard that. So here we are over black. And as you see, I didn't have to fish for that. Those look amazing. That is such a fun summery combination. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're gorgeous. So we're going to do the second coat. So second coat, you most definitely get a lot of glitters in there. Like I said, no fishing, super fun. And if you would like your, your own, you need to hop on. There's five in stock and then it's gone. Give yourself goosebumps. For second polish, we have a reflective glitter. Oh, see, you can see it now. And I love the name of this one. It is Wolfman's Got Nards. <laughs> and that is from an awesome movie. Look at that. That is... Which movie? You don't remember which movie? Oh, come is on. Think, think, think. Is it Teen Wolf? Nope. Nope. I believe it's earlier than that. Um, Howie Mandel, I believe, played the monster in it, if I'm thinking correctly. I don't think I've seen that movie. It was the Monster Squad. Nope, I haven't seen it. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to watch it with Zoe. It is so funny. It's kind of stupid, <laughs> you know, looking back now, I guess a lot of those movies are pretty dumb, but it's cute. It's cute for kids. I know uh, my Shelby, <laughs> when we first watched it, she was scared. <laughs> it scared her. <laughs> yeah. But this guy is a dark blue. It has some shimmer, holographic, iridescent flakes, and reflective glitter. Uh, she has a low cap on this one. It is $13. And we still have some of these left too. So this one's super pretty. We will get this one swatched. Yeah, this one with the glitters in it. Some of them are pokey. See how they're a little pokey, but not bad. So a good top coat will be good with that. I don't know, can you see it? I think it's catching the other one. I don't know. It looked better with the second coat. You know what I should do, maybe for the next video, is go around and do one coat. And have that first coat finished. Yeah, that would be a good idea. It might be a time saver, but I don't know yeah. if you know people want to see how that first coat goes on. I don't know. There it is over black. 
that's still super cool and pretty. I mean, you got the blue shimmer in there and then the reflective glitters. I said I can't show you the reflective here, but oh, there's another fuzzy. That's great. But there's some really, really cool product pictures on the website and in Instagram too, where you can see the reflective. I'll get that figured out. We can. Oh, you know what? I bet you I could do it. Okay. Can you shut the door, please? Thank you. I love you. So here we go. And love you. oh, cancel. Sorry. Somehow I hit a button. Um, I am gonna try something real quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it this way. Oh. Yeah, see, hold on. I'm trying to, if I do a low light. Can you see it reflective now? <laughs> yeah, it's not a very good example of... It's not working. Okay, I tried. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I thought maybe that would work, yeah. but... Did you see it a little bit? There's got to be a different way to be able to show off that reflective bit. So, Wolfman's got nards. Gorgeous. Why could you be light with you it? I don't know. Let's see. No. It doesn't do anything with UV. No. Let's see. There we go for that one. And then this one. Killer Ride. This one is kind of... trying to see if... It's showing a little orangey. Does it show orangey on the camera? Yes. Okay, because it's it's more of a like a red. Why is mm, here we go again with this? Let's see. So I wouldn't say. Hmm. It, it's more of a red with like a gold shimmer in there but my phone is pulling more orange than it should and it really isn't there you go that's kind of more like it <sighs> okay so this one killer ride can you guess what that one's from just by chance it's red Killer Ride. What movie is that from? We are looking. Let's see. Okay. I'll grab my iPad. <laughs> so, Killer Ride is from the movie Christine. Oh, that's right. Was it a. A Bel Air, a Chevy Bel Air that he drove in that movie. All I know is I wanted that car growing up. That was like my number one favorite car that I wanted. So this is a gorgeous red polish with subtle gold magnetic shimmer and coppery orange hollow micro glitters. Okay, so I was that wrong. It was a Plymouth? Belvedere. It was a Plymouth? Yeah. Ooh. I was totally not a car person. I knew what's funny is I I told Waylon to catch the video. So <laughs> if he heard me say that, he's probably laughing at me right now. Like, I can't believe you just said that. Because he's a total car nut. All right. We will put this one on the thumb. 
Now, she did say that there is a subtle gold magnetic shimmer in it. So when I swatched this earlier, I did see it. There is a magnetic pull in there, but it's very, very faint. But it's super pretty. And if you're in the sunlight, you will definitely catch it. So I'll do the first coat, just normal, and then the second coat I'll use the magnet. And I must have a very linty towel when I washed my hands because see how my phone is pulling it like a pink? I swear it's not a pink. But you can see all the pretty flakies in there. I need to pull the light. I love the shimmer. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hi. I promise I'm not ignoring you. That's our George. Aww. Yeah. He's the one that got into the fight and has no tail. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we have three kitties, and every single one of them, there's something missing from them. George doesn't Aww. have a tail. Shadow doesn't have a leg. And Cece doesn't have an ear. Aww. Yeah. So there it is, a black. See, that's really pretty. It pulls like a copper color, huh? That'd be really pretty yeah. for Halloween. I like that. That one's super pretty. All right. Um, oh, here it is. Am I even on screen? There you go. I'm sure this one probably would be a three coater. I don't know if you're going to see it. It's very light. I, I promise it's there, but it is really faint. I know my swatch pictures, um, I was able to pull a line and it was super, super cute. So here we go, a killer ride. It's beautiful. It's not pink. It's like a, it's a red color that has like a coppery shimmer in it there we go you can kind of catch it there super pretty so killer ride we have give yourself goosebumps it's a reanimation and wolfman's got nards dark and twisted she has three this month very very nice Okay, I've got a pinky left there, so we can do Polaris de Carol. This one's super cute. I love this one. It's a yellow. It's actually like a true yellow with the gold shimmery flakies in there. And it's called It's Corn, which is perfect for the movie <laughs> Children of the Corn. Which is another really screwed up movie, considering. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the country and my house is surrounded by cornfields. Oh so, yeah. And my kids love it too. I, <laughs> Waylon would, <laughs> in the summertime, he would hide out in the corn and scare the kids. Aww. But it was, it was funny though, because, you know, they'd. They'd go over there poking around and he'd come out and they would scatter like, <laughs> like rats. 
screaming. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> so, okay, this one's a bright orangey yellow with Shifty Shimmer, Mermaid Flakes, and UCC Flakes. Nice. So, Mermaid Flakes, are those the... Um, explain them to me, because I, I forget what they are. Or are they like the uh, blue, pink? They're just iridescent flakes. Oh, okay. So they're just iridescent flakes. Yeah. Still gorgeous. $13. And new cap. She has that nice white paddle brush. Which is awesome. That's a very pretty yellow. You know, I'm not a fan of yellow, but this is a really pretty color. I can't word up, wait to wear that during um, the fall season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's super pretty in like two coats. Gets it. I do too. I mean, look at some massive flakes in there. I mean, that's just crazy. Look how big that chunk is. Oh my gosh. Super pretty. Oh, don't, don't bug out. <laughs> Oh wow. It's like humongous. Eh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna take that off because it's gonna get wasted. <laughs> yeah. That's going back in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wasting that big old flake. Alright. I think I need to practice. Hey, you didn't, well, yeah, I got out my skin. That's all right. So two coats. Oh, I love that. Super pretty. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, you know, if it if it's more than two coats, they don't, you know, they don't want it. But that's definitely a two coater. Three. You know, I, I think it fluctuates because I've, I've heard a lot of people say two. And I know, like myself, I like a thin coat. You know, I do it thin coats. Because I they dry easier. They're easier to work with. Sometimes when you do a big flat, you know, just globby coat, then it kind of balls up around the edges. So this is its corn, Chloris de Carol. Awesome flakies in that. I mean, they're just massive. Look at those. And she also has a cuticle pen. This one <laughs> is scented. Buttered popcorn. Yum. And it, it smells exactly like buttered popcorn. I swear on my life. Jojoba, grape seed, apricot, kernel, vitamin E, fragrance. Nice. Yeah. Her pants are nice. So we will go ahead. There we go. So nice. Ooh, yeah, I got hit with that buttered popcorn and it smells exactly like buttered popcorn. Now I'm hungry. Come on. That is not fair. I don't want to make popcorn now. So I'm going to go ahead and go around all of them because I have more polish and we need to take these off. So my routine, most of the time, if I'm removing polish, 
I don't know why, but I always do this before I remove. I don't think it does anything, but I think it adds that extra layer of moisture. Ooh, God, that smells so good. I, man, can you like DoorDash popcorn or something? Because now I'm starving. So, yes, so buttered popcorn. Um, let me check really quick. I don't believe there was a cap on that. There's no cap on. There's no cap on her corn polish, no cap on the cuticle oil, and it's $5. Okay, so, oh, because I haven't done this yet, so let's go to Witch Cult. So this is the only thermal that I have to show for you for Witch Cult. It's Banshee. And we have two acetone additives this month. So we have hers, which is cotton candy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of that for those of you who are unfamiliar with the additive. So if you have normal uh, acetone, let's say, which is what I have is just normal acetone. As I remove, can you see that my skin has that white powder stuff? It's completely drying my, my skin out. Well, if you put additive in it, you don't get that because you get the moisturizing benefits of the additive. So I wanted to do that real quick so you could see how dry and crusty my finger is now. So what we're going to do is here is my little pumper bottle. I've got about it halfway full. Now some, this is a, actually a pretty big bottle. It's an ounce, so it's fairly decent sized. Yeah. And I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Not a lot. I, I actually like to switch my smells out. I, I have like, <laughs> it's kind of obsessive, but I have like six or seven of these floating around. All with different smells. So, put that back on. I'm going to shake it up. Next one, hopefully I put enough in. And I guess this also shows you too about the glitter polish. It just comes right off. Hmm, did I put enough in there? No, it's still looking crusty, huh? I think I gotta add some more. I do. I, I got these little guys. I think I got those off of Amazon. And they're actually, if you soak them, place them on your nail. I'm kind of going a little quick, so. Oh, wow. A little bit more in there. Yeah, because that's like straight acetone. There's no conditioners in it whatsoever. So I soak it. And then most of the time what I'll do is I just set it on top. Rub it a little. And then most of the time, if I leave it soak long enough, it comes off in one little wipe. Yeah, I need those. And these don't leave like a whole crap little lint. The only other ones that, 
Yeah, like cotton balls. I oh my god, I I cannot stand cotton balls. There is one. I'll find them and I'll have them for the next video. But there is one cotton pad that I get from uh, Walgreens, and it's kind of pinched around the sides. If that makes any sense, it, it looks like a pillow, kinda. And they're oval. I think they're oval. And um, they don't shed whatsoever. Nice. See how her... That was BCB that I just took off. This came right off. Yeah, you have to send me the link. Yeah, I'll send you the link. And the good thing about these little squares... Uh, you get like a pack of a thousand or something ridiculous for like two dollars. That's cheap. That's super cheap. Yeah, they, the polish just comes right off. Yep. Wow. Okay, I'll go home. I'll have to ask you after the video. Well, you can ask me now since we're just... I, I have to remove this before I can do any more. Are those acrylics? My, my nails? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are acrylic. And I have the gel... Yeah, gel top coat on them. Yeah, so they still say, you know, stay nice and shiny even after using the uh, okay. And a lot of people use these little guys too for um you know how you can get the clips for when you have gel nail polish? Oh yeah. And you can just put the little pad on it and then put your little clip on it to soak off your gel polish. Oh. Yeah, see. Um, can you see the additive? So after removing that, I don't have the flaky, crusty, oh, yeah. white stuff. Yeah, where it totally takes out your moisture yeah okay so here we go glitter wow the glitter came off super easy yeah it does it really does it, it's I don't have problem with glitter removal at all and the next round I will uh I didn't even think about doing them in matte I apologize. Throw in a matte top coat on those. Mm. But I mean, we still have plenty. We have one, two, three, and then uh, yours. So I can easily do those. Do another glitter guy. Wow, that came off super quick. Ulta. Really, Esmeralda? That would be really cool. You're going to have to send me a picture of it so I know which ones you're talking about. What? Um, Esmeralda was talking about Ulta having uh, the lint-free guys, the pads. Look at that. It just like <laughs> slides right off. And I also think too, like for swatching, you know, moisturizing beforehand helps with that. Now, if this was something like a mani I was going to keep, I don't know, for like weeks on end, then I, I would make sure everything was like really dry. Because I've had some man, you may, well, mani's just like, 
I was telling you that the other day. Remember, I I wore one polish and the whole thing was just popping off. Yeah. It's like I could just peel them right off. It was so weird. Ooh, now my fingers smell like cotton candy. Yum. Nice. Okay, so, yep. I mean, there's still a little bit there. I mean, something else. I don't know if you guys have one of these. I picked this up at the dollar store, which I thought was super cute. So, it's a little brush on one end. And then it's got... I don't know, what would you call that? A mascara kind of brush on the other. And it might sound weird, but I think this brush is super helpful, especially when you want to get in there. Right. Yeah, I was going to um, equip the store with the brush. I think that would oh, be wow. really cool. But yeah, I mean... I never thought to use a mascara brush. Well, and I haven't had any bristles come off yet. Or melt, you know, like sometimes acetone will melt stuff. But, you know, if there's like little areas that you need to get to and you need just a little bit more, I guess, toughness. <laughs> I don't know the, the word to use. Then huh. just what your normal little brush is. This works really good. Getting in those little crevices or whatever. But Okay. Sorry, moving along. I get chatty. So... That is Cotton Candy, which Colt's Acetone Additive. And let me see really quick. I like that bottle. The what? I like the bottle that it's in the glass bottles. Oh, yeah. I always wonder, like, you know, what to do with them after you're done using them, how to recycle them. Okay, Cotton Candy. Cocoons from Killer Clowns from Outer Space was her inspiration for the acetone. There's a cap of 25 It's $12. And there's still a few of those available. Now, her thermal... Which we are doing next is Banshee. Her inspiration was Cry of the Banshee poster. It is a peach yellow red thermal polish with black flakes. This one was super fun. I really like this one. You put it on the thumb. So, I don't, I think it's kind of pointless to put that one over black. So, while that one dries, I am going to move on to Luna and the lacquer. Now, she is still offering the sticking around sticky base. And I got you covered. Quick dry top coat. And this month, her scent is cherry, which it, it smells like cherries. It's not the sickly medicine type cherry, which, oh, mm, mm -mm. <laughs> it's the good cherry. <laughs> so, very good scent. Now, I don't know if you can see, but this guy, 
already, I've used it so much. It already has a fill line. It's like right there. So this slowly is becoming a favorite of mine. Her polish, no feeding after midnight. While I'm looking up her info, can anyone guess what that one is from? No feeding after midnight. I know, I know. Do you know? Do you know? I'm not gonna say it though. Come on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. To me? Oh, Cindy got it. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay, <Good>. Gremlins! <laughs> so this one is a red shimmer polish, orange to red flakes, green to purple shifting flakes, and shifting orange to gold aurora flakes. That one's like, it's packed with awesome stuff. I love it. It's a gorgeous polish. You know, and I was looking at the swatches and I think someone had asked if it was magnetic because if you see Michelle's swatches, didn't it look like she like pulled a magnet on it? A little bit. Yeah. And you know what? Look at that. There is a faint line in there. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so it pulls, but I mean, I'm not going to like claim it's a magnet, but if you were playing around with it, it has a small shifty line in it, which I think is super neat. So we are at $12. With no feeding after midnight. And why are we flipping out again? I think my phone is temperamental. This one is very easily a two coater. It is loaded, loaded with flakes. Super pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do that over black. I love those rainbow flakes. Like, that's just gorgeous. What? That'd be more like a like a magenta color? I don't know if you want to call it a magenta. Yeah. I think it looks like a magenta. Yeah. Especially with all those pretty rainbow flakes in there. So two coats. It is like his most fur color. I mean, if you catch it in the right light, most definitely. Oh, yeah. I love it. Wow. Pretty. I'm just going to... Eh, a little bit. I, I... Oh, it does look like your most fur color. It does, doesn't it? So, I'm oh. going to... Let's see. No feeding after midnight. And we still have... Quite a few on hand of that one, but it is running low, so you gotta hurry up and snag Gizmo because that—that's a good one. That one's gorgeous, along with her sticky base sticking around. Oh, well, don't look at that. <laughs> Sorry, Th this one's from uh, March. This is my pineapple one, but this month will be a cherry scent, so. Same, but cherry scented. And then I got you covered quick dry top coat. Now also with this one, and I will show you later, this can be used over stamping. No smudge, which is awesome. So yes, I know. I'm so sorry. I need to uh, hurry it up because I'm sure this is going on forever. Let's do our second coat of our thermal. Thermal. 
and I'm definitely going to have to get water for this because I run warm naturally. So it's always going to appear that light instead of the darker for everybody. So we'll let that dry. Next up. What's wrong? Did I did I miss I'm, something? No. The little glitter, the little glitters make it look like there's a little scorpion on your thumb. Does it? Where? Like right there? It you know what this <laughs> This is totally giving me Fred Flintstone vibes. Me too. I love it. Me too. Quit flipping. Yes, I love it. At least. I... Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, let me see. So we have Victorian varnish up next while we let Witch Cult dry. I don't want to pop it in a in the water if it's still wet and Victorian varnish we have finger pricks are killer they have two offerings this go around this gorgeous and this one is a magnetic hold on I'm trying to talk to you and pull stuff up too I, this has just been it was a tough month even trying to do the video and then coming on, look at that green. Oh, that is such a cool color. So shake it up. You've got like a, what kind of color do you say? That like a rose gold, sort of? Toy looks rose gold. And then you pull it through and bam! Green and magenta? That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. So this one's inspired by Little Shop of Horrors. We have a green shimmer that leans purple at low light angles. Fuchsia pink green gold magnetic line when magnetized. There is a cap of 150 on that one. And it is $13.00. And you still have some of those available, too. Oh, look at that. Ah, that is so neat. And look at another fuzzy. Where am I getting these fuzzies from? Oh, okay. So everyone likes to see it unmagnetized. So we'll do one coat, no magnet. And I don't know if you can see it through the screen, but I see the green and the pink. It's like it's all speckled in there. Ugh. Come on. Can you see it? Oh, that looks pretty. Isn't that weird how it, it's just, it, it's like. It's very shifty. Yes, very shifty, very moody. That is, that's a perfect term for it, moody. I love it. I don't think I've ever seen a polish where you can just flat out see the two separate colors like that. That's crazy. Okay, over black. Oh yeah, so you can catch it over to black too. The pink and the green. That is really neat. It's That's awesome. All right, second coat. All 
I don't know why I'm using this bar magnet when I have a nifty ring magnet to use. Which you can use it anyway. So you can just get closer. Let me do it again real quick. I didn't hold it there long enough. It's so hard to to judge this looking at the phone. It's like I'm trying to do it and then look in the phone at the same time. That's super pretty. I mean, I know people, I know a lot of people were talking about, um, you know, being able to keep that harsh, harsh line. And if you don't want to add any more polish, but you want to like get that going again, all you have to do is add your top coat. And you could reactivate that magnetic without adding any more polish. Look at it spread. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yeah, I mean, all that paint at Rose Quartz. It is so reactive. So pretty. Victorian Varnish did an awesome job on that one. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here we go again on the bottle. So shifty, so pretty. Finger pricks are killer. They also came out with a duo. Acetone Additive and Cuticle Concoction. Sorry, I'm taking a while. <laughs> You're fine. I have nothing better to do on a Friday night. So <laughs> I apologize for taking a long time. So these two are also inspired by the Little Shop of Horrors. Seymour pricking his fingers over and over to feed Audrey too. So the tincture, tin, tincture, how would you say that? This one always... Well, I'm sorry. Tincture. 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 Mm -hmm. This is one word I can't say. It's like uh, Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. So, <sighs> okay. Um. So both of these are a blend of. Ruby Cassis, Bright Pineapple, Sweet Rose Blossoms, and Dewy Fresh Air. And if you look, I didn't even open them yet. They came sealed. I mean, that's just awesome. Because sometimes you don't get a good seal. I love their packaging. Topical use only. Shake well. Add the entire bottle to 10 to 12 ounces of pure acetone. Or add 5 to 6 drops to a small dappen dish of pure acetone. Always check for allergies. And do a patch test first. So you make sure that it does not hurt you. Also... This whole thing is sealed, which is awesome. I hate to say it. I don't know how many times I, I buy these and they leak. God, they always leak. This 
So this one is awesome roller ball. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that smells really, really good. Give this finger some love. Ooh. Oh, that might be a new favorite. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. And that roller ball, I mean, it just, it glides. It just glides right out of there. Boy, that smells amazing. This is a set. And there is a 50 cap on these. They are $12.50. And we still have some of those available. Boy, that is a really good smell. No, Tamara, you're going to really like this one. Okay, so that label did get a little bit on it, but it's still gorgeous. Those are decent sizes, too. Hmm. I can smell the rose. And that... Hmm. Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to stop smelling the fingers over that one, but that one is really, really good. <laughs> You could ask Tara. I mean, there's something about smells that, oof. Okay, we are going to do a third coat for witchcraft. Or, I'm sorry, witch cult. Oh, so sorry. Witch cult. Okay, so you can kind of see it showing up now. So maybe I'm not too overly warm super pretty I love the flakies in that it's super pretty okay uh, side note um uh, burned offerings amazing jewelry every single store release she has um a beautiful necklace right now all alien inspired um i believe let me pull hers up right now because i i thought the necklace was sold out but we also have she has two different styles of these earrings and i wanted to flip the camera show you them on but uh yeah <laughs> there's no way i'm doing that tonight <laughs> but you will see pictures she has plenty of pictures online but uh another earring sold out. i the dangly ones right the the cluster yeah. ones um earlier this morning we did add to the cap i think she added four more sets so yeah okay um okay here we go yeah so there there are four more sets of putting on the ritz that's her inspiration she has a dangly set and then she has these hoops now if you ask me i am loving these hoops they're lightweight they're not huge, you know, so like when you put them on, they're not going to like make your lobe sag, which I love. And the stones on them are gorgeous. I mean, look at that. The multi-chrome in the middle. The little guys are multi-chrome. That is so pretty. They are, uh, and they have this like simple hook. Which I love these because I'm a mom of four, so I have little ones constantly. <laughs> this is why I don't wear jewelry because they're always, you know, pulling on them or whatnot. And I remember I had a pair of these similar to the same kind of hook, 
when my little boy was a baby. And when he yanked on him, thank goodness, they, I, I don't know how, but they released, you know, from my lobe without ripping my lobe. So, I mean, it, it took a bit, it took a bit, but I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, if you're ever in that kind of situation, these would be the kind I would want. So I'm not getting my ear torn off, but they're still the type where like the they don't, release. yes. And they don't pinch. They're easy to put on, especially if you have nails. No, right. Right. They're, they're just stunning. Now, don't get me wrong. The cluster ones that she has on the site, too. Thank you, Cindy. That is exactly what I was trying to get at. That they're super easy to get on and super easy to get off, especially when you have nails. Perfect. Thank you. I, I get tongue-tied. It's part of my nervous system going on here, but these stones are amazing. Um, Cindy's, okay, so these are lightweight, and I mean, they're super lightweight. I, they're, there's like no weight to them at all. They feel like a feather. She's, uh, so the beans are a check glass dagger bead matte jet with silver and peacock and crystal etched full bit rail bit rail is it, did i say that right bit rail aurora borealis hematite spacers and dainty check glass fire polish crystal etched full bit rail rounds complete the look stainless steel hoops measure just over one inch Total length approximately an inch and three quarters. These are gorgeous. And like I said, she, she also has the cluster ones, which are a post and the hang down and a cluster on the website. But these are beautiful. These are gorgeous. There is a cap of 15 on these. And the price is $16. So pretty. So pretty. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you very much. She also has these kick butt coasters. Now I have purchased coasters from Cindy before. And just to show you, I have she one. She does. I have one right here. This was her rose gold one that she made probably a couple years back for me had this one forever this what? one is her aliens inspired coaster and it is gorgeous if you look at all the glitters in there and of course this is something she just started doing which i absolutely love is the cork bottom so when you have your stuff on there, it's not going to slip and slide all over the place. I mean, wow. it's amazing. So I have my big old Bubba cup. And I mean, yeah, so you got that one. And then let's see, you got the old one. So I don't know if you can... I mean it wow. I love it Cindy it, that putting that cork on there was the best thing ever her coasters are amazing I have them in my car <laughs> I have them all over my tables I mean I could do a whole video That's just on good. Cindy's coasters this coaster wow. right right this one is also amazing because this one glows so give me a second and we will show you it does match perfectly with my cup i'm telling you i have a thing with matchy matchy stuff right tamara 
it, almost to the point of she kind of, she makes fun of me. <laughs> I don't. You do, but in a fun way. Cute. So here is the coaster, all glowy, glowy. Isn't that cool? And let me look real quick. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, looky. Woohoo. I think my computer is about to die, which really sucks right now. But um, I believe the coaster, it's Xenomorph, right? Did it? Egg, egg Xenomorph? Did I say that right? <laughs> okay. Which is also aliens you know, inspired. So you can get a set, two coasters for 30 or the individual for 16. Now we did run out earlier, but we, Cindy added some more. So there is only four sets of the coasters available for the set. And just a few available for singles. Why is it doing that? Hold on. I gotta re-zoom. Did I screw everything up by shutting that light off? Oh, come on. Well, that just shows how sparkly it is if my phone is wigging. There it goes. See the silver big old glitters in there? There we go. Great job, Cindy. And then the outside, it's actually a metal. It's not plastic. This is actually metal. Um, Cindy also mentioned, which I think is really super cool. Um, she says, one of the things I really love about making these coasters is that the aluminum base is sourced from a company that gives a percentage of their profits towards helping people overcome addictions and recovery programs. So Aww. that is super cool. That is super cool. Um, the coaster measures just over four inches in diameter. If you're kind of trying to figure out like size. So you kind of see the size there. But yes, yeah, Cindy, thank you so much. Your coasters are amazing. Actually, all your stuff is amazing. The, the coasters, gorgeous hoops. I mean, girl, you rock that one. Thank you. Those are those are really pretty. Um, let me see. So we're gonna go back to Witch Cult. And here is the thermal. I know it's kind of icky, but I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have any cold water next to me, so you have a tea shot. <laughs> I stuck my my thumb in my tea, but hey, it works. But isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Aluminum, yes. Aluminum. The bottom of the coaster casings are aluminum. I think I said that right. Right? Aluminum? And, uh, okay. I'm not going to force myself there. So this is Witch Cult. Banshee. Super pretty. Super fun with all those stickies in there. All right, um, oh, now we have Tamara's. I always save hers for last because there's a lot and they're all amazing. So we have these two right here are the new offerings. We have a magnetic stores are open this is her night of the comet inspiration 
I love this palette. It's so fun. It pulls a silver magnetic pole. Tamara, you might have to help me out because my computer just died. And then we have a topper. Let me pull that light up. The Quickening Highlander movie. Gorgeous. Oh, I, you know, I haven't tried the topper yet. I am excited for that. And then we have The Lost Boys Glow in the Dark. This is a new one for this month, but it is going to be a staple in the store along with these four glow in the darks in the background. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these two and then we will do the other glow in the darks and then we'll light them all up at the same time. Ooh, that is so pretty. It's not a baby blue. Would you consider that a baby blue or sky blue? It's a neon blue. <laughs> is it a neon blue? <laughs> uh -huh. I, maybe I shouldn't be swatching if I'm colorblind, huh? No, you're doing great. <laughs> With uh, neon pink glitters, correct? Yes. Yes. And then we're going to throw the Highlander topper right next to it. You know, I love your toppers just by themselves. I think they're pretty. Oh, I love I use rainbow flakes for that. That is gorgeous. You know, just like when you want just a little bit of sparkle, but want to go nude that's awesome I'm gonna throw it over black Ooh, I can't wait. that blue is pretty look at that just makes us the glitters pop that's great I love the shimmer it does remind you of a fairy princess, doesn't it? Woohoo! That is so pretty. Gah! Like a little girl. So excited for the colors. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the topper. Ooh, another big chunk of flakes. Look at that. That is super pretty. You definitely see all the rainbow lovey in there. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hopefully my lights aren't all screwed up. We can see the pole here. Ooh, ooh lucky, lucky. That is pretty, Tamara. Good job. Look how gorgeous. That is so fun. Oh. That's a total comment. Yeah, you don't see that one. I totally I boofed on that one. That is so what? pretty. You did good. I, I mean, that color really reminds me of that movie. The 80s, you know, with the neon flare and the scrunchies. <laughs> it was her cheerleading outfit, Sam. Mm-hmm. That god, that's so pretty. So let me see. I'm gonna just cause I can. I'm gonna throw that over that thermal. That topper looks really pretty by itself over the thermal boy tower that's really pretty awesome 
Now I'm going to have to, you know what, it, going through all these polishes, like, oh, I want to watch that. Oh, I got to rewatch that. The Quickening Highlander Topper. Massive flakes in the sky. I love it over black. Yes. It looks amazing over black. Look at that big chunker right there. <laughs> God, they're just... Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Look at that. Man. And I really like this one, too. This one's such a fun color. Uh... Nice silver pull to it there. That's so pretty. Love it. Night of the Comet. The stores are open. It's not when they're bouncing around the mall shopping. Yeah, I think they're shooting the Uzis and then they come up with that idea of like, we should go shopping. <laughs> Don't they, uh, isn't that where those creepy guys are in there, too? Yeah, the zombie, they're turning into zombies. I think they were, like, the stock boys. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, we got five. So this purple, it's going to go on like a jelly. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. I don't think you. I. I don't think I saw any swatches that had full coverage. But no. jellies are fun. I love the jellies. Lost boys. So we're gonna do. Um. No, I'm not gonna do that one over black. Cause that seems kind of redundant to do it over black yeah so what i'm gonna do I'm do two coats there i love it just by itself i think Me it's too. really pretty just the tint yeah yeah because you know you stamp over it yes oh my god yes because sometimes i mean you don't want my sorry my my fingers are slick from from the um cuticle oil i couldn't get the top off <laughs> oh, oh goodness everyone's like what is wrong with her why can't she take that top off uh the day the earth stood still so i'm just going to do two coats of each of these and then we are going to that one's not coming back. this one's not are you sh really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it in the store? I don't think so. Let me look. Oh. Okay. You didn't see anything. We're getting rid of that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. sorry. I thought that one was was one of the permanent ones. Oh. Well. If you didn't get it, this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's a pearly. It has that really pretty shimmer in it. I am so sorry. I thought this one was a, a normal staple. Well, now I feel kind of... Nope, y'all didn't see anything. I, I messed up on that one. So, rewind. Forget I said it. It, well, if you want it, I guess de stash or we can someone. I don't know. I, I don't think anyone's going to give those up though. Ectoplasm. This one definitely is coming back. It will always be here. It's a glow in the dark. All of these are glow in the dark. I'm going to throw it on there. Okay. Tamara, is it me, or do you have shimmer in this one? I, in the ectoplasm? Yeah, because look. There's no shimmer. 
Because there's shimmer in mine. Oh, weird. That is, Ooh, that is funny. Can you see it, though? I mean, yeah, it looks look. like hollow. It does. I wonder if I accidentally messed it up or if I didn't have a clean brush. It does look like hollow that's in there, but I mean, it's real faint. Yeah, I've got hollow in mine. Maybe you did that just for me because I'm special. <laughs> Ectoplasm. Okay, so that that's going to be here. Lost Boys. When you just want a little bit of color. That's going to be here. Uh, the Fog. Now this one's matte, correct? Yeah, uh, the Fog, yes. Ugh, man, what is wrong with me? You're fine. I couldn't get it open. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. Okay, the fog. <laughs> oh my god. Now that does have a little bit of um, a cream in it. You might want to do it over a black. Do the fog over black? Mm hmm Because it's got some a little bit of a white cream in it. Ooh. Oh. So, yeah make sandwiches oh that's right that's right this is your sandwich making polish the milky the milky Ooh, I can't wait to light these up okay and the other one is the twilight zone dude the twilight zone oh well that one was easy all right. And of course, you're not going to see anything. Why is she painting nothing on her nails? I promise you will see something shortly. Oop. What the heck is that? I don't know. What a weird F. Girl. I'm telling you, my kids get into stuff, and you never know around here. Let me put another. Okay, so this is the part that I like. So we have two coats of them all. One, two, three, four. We're not going to think about the little guy that's back there, because I messed that one up. All right, so really quick. Ah, time to shut the lights off. Time to charge. I think this is the fun part because I swear, out of all the glow in the darks that I had, yours stayed the glowiest the longest. I don't know if that makes sense, but. It does, yeah. Yeah, most of the time they. They're real faint, you know, it's like you catch it a little bit and then bam, that's it. So, let me kill my light. Oop. Hey, don't move. All right, so this is the fog. And then we have, should have. I only did one of these one at a time, but I want you guys to seriously see how long they stay lit for. This one is ectoplasma. Ectoplasm. I, I keep screwing that up. And then we have the twilight zone. Twilight zone is like a white glow in the dark. The ectoplasm is a green. The fog. Is that a pink? Would you consider that a pink? For the fog? Uh, the fog? Yeah. It's red. No, it's 
thread. Okay. Oh, well, see, it, it got the stupid light shining, but if I put it underneath, bam, it's red. Whew, red, white, green. And then we are doing the purple right now. I think it's kind of a blurple glow in the dark. A blurple? Blurple. 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 <laughs> <laughs> blurple blurple <laughs> i guess is that a a blurple color <laughs> oh it well it looks like a blue that's a lost boys let's be purple but oh dude oh, well. hey, ah. All right. All right. give me one second see i'm blabbing too much and my phone's gonna go dead all right, just trying to see it on the nails. So that one was the purple. Lost Boys. Whoa. This is the one that we don't talk about. <laughs> this is the ecto, ectoplasm. Let me hit it again. It's a fog. Well, you can really tell how crappy of a job I did painting. And then this guy over here is the Twilight Zone. Oh, that white. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. hit them all again. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, let's see. Okay, minus that finger. Super glowy. I love your glow in the darks. That is just crazy. Awesome sauce on that. Yay! Yay! Oh, there we go. Um. Thank you. Yeah, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Yikes, really quick. The lippies. The gorgeous lippies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we have uh, Tamara brought back uh, Forbidden Planet from March. Which is kind of like a, it's a white, green, pink iridescent. And then the new one is Killer Clowns Liquid Vibe. And I'm going off of memory. So like a gold magenta multi-chrome. Yeah, and copper and green. Copper and green. Oh, oh yeah. So if you're, I mean, you kind of mm -hmm. see like the green there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me see there we go so these are oh, I love these and I totally want I'm going to try and do it this weekend but I like I'm not much of a lip person but I love using this stuff as an eyeliner and it makes oh, yeah. the perfect eyeliner and it's smooth I don't know if I'm going to catch the colors. And it doesn't rub mm -hmm. off easy. Mm -hmm. Right. It does not, which is really cool. I'm trying to catch the... It's so hard to catch the shifts. So you see some of the gold. There we go. Some of the pink or magenta. There we go. And then we have this one, just Forbidden Planet. Mm -hmm. It gives off mm -hmm. kind of like a, I don't know, is it, 
I want to say it's like a lavender, a teal, iridescent shift. Yeah. So pretty. Just watch out for upcoming pictures. Um, th there is still... I don't have the computer on because it died on me, but do you know... We still have some of these available, correct? Yes. Okay. There's like three left of the mm -hmm. killer Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. one left of Forbidden Planet. So, four of the Forbidden Planet, you said how many of Killer Clown? Maybe three. The, Cindy, they're super pretty. And, uh, like I said, uh, using them as lippies. Mm -hmm. How many? I'm sorry. So there is only two of these left. So if you want, you're going to have to hop on really quick. Same with this guy. I, I know there's a lot of, I need to put up a post. I'll, I'll do tomorrow of low stock items because we are getting fairly low on quite a few things. Um, really quick. Luna. Wax, uh, no feeding after midnight, pineapple, OJ, berries, candy, and frosted coconut. This is her wax, her little gizmo wax, which is so adorable. I kind of don't want to use him, but he smells so yummy. <laughs> this one is, is a real yummy scent. I love it. I, I yeah, mm. This one is super good. I, 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 I love my wax. <laughs> I, I'm such a wax fiend. It's, I guess we all have to have our obsessions. Um, I can't think of anything else that I am missing. Thank you for being so patient with me and sticking with me through what, it's got to be close to two hours long. Um. Well, it, we just kind of chat, you know, and, and hang out, which I, I love, I love the adult time, you know, and if you can stick around and chit chat with me, I mean, more the better. It, it'd be nice if I can actually hear people, <laughs> which would be super cool. Um, I wonder if there's a way to do that. You know, I, well, I know there is a, like when we do the practice, there's a way of us, um, talking to each other, you know, like with the split frame. Right. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know. If, I don't know. More stuff to look into over the summer for sure. Because it would be really nice if we could actually, like, literally talk to people. That would be super cool. And that actually would be super fun, too. I mean, yeah. yeah. But, um, I'm sorry I didn't get around to showing you the stamping plate. Um, I mean, I have it right here, but it, this is Apapila's Supernatural plate. Uh, she has another offering uh skulls is what she offered for may and she brought back the supernatural mm -hmm. and also um the x-files plate for those of you that missed those so those are available to come back what'd you say cindy zoom oh we could do a zoom meeting that would be super cool can you i wonder can you do that over Instagram though, or would we be able to like record it? Oh. Okay. Just so everyone can see. So these are dry. And they are not smudging at all. That's oh, like a bonus. Cool. That is super cool. Okay, I'm going to like lick my finger. Okay, so it does with moisture, but not dry. 
that's awesome okay sorry had to gross you out with the lick finger but that was really cool because most of the time when you wear lip glosses that stuff just slides right off of you <laughs> ah, well yes so thank you cindy we're definitely going to look into that because i think that'd be kind of cool to do like more one-on-one -on -one friendlier type of videos for our little group i think that'd be a lot of fun so yeah we'll definitely look into the zoom thing and um, keep you updated. Uh, we will be, uh, store closes on the 30th. Um, we will get shipping started probably after the 15th of June, as soon as we receive everyone's products. That's normally when we, you know, start on it. We are taking July off. Um, we all need a break. Uh, they're, you know, the, they're, what's it called, the polish, expo is going on so a lot of people are going to that so it'd just be nice to relax for the summer but we will be back in september we will be open again and that will be our 90s through 2000s month so um, any questions send us an email ask in the site uh, thank you for another lengthy video and for joining us. So we really appreciate it and hope to see you all soon on the next video. So enjoy your summer and thanks again. Take care.